Managed to get so far. Bravo. Are you the masked mage? Give back the mana sword! Hmm. What a lively bunch of would-be heroes to have defeated the Benevadons. <sighs> Look how powerful the sword has become now that it is infused with their combined energy. <laughs> This is its true strength. Now I shall absorb this power into my body. I will live forever. An immortal soul stronger than the goddess of mana herself. The perfect being. Behold! I will become a god! No longer will it channel the goddess's energy. The sword of mana as you know it will be lost forever. You must see the end is inevitable. <laughs> what? Ah! of light is holding me back. It is coming from the sanctuary. The goddess is not yet destroyed. <sighs> Very well. 
Once I cut down the tree, the goddess will be no more. The last of the mana power will disappear and I will be complete! I am off to the sanctuary to deal with this. Oh no! Goddess is in danger! I will not let you impede my master's plan. You shall not leave this place alive. Heath, stop! Priest of Light is sick. Your friend Charlotte is looking for you. Come back to Wendell. Priest of... and... Charlotte? I do not know any such people. Uh, Heath! This is where you will perish. Don't want to fight you. Just stop. Fear nothing anymore. Death will grant you a final respite. Charlotte, sorry. Nothing we can do. We have to stop him. Where are you? Is this it? Where are you looking? Is this it? Where are you? Is this it? Where are you looking? Is this it? No, no, where are you?
stay still. Uh, do not worry about me. You must get to the Sanctuary of Mana and stop the, the Masked Mage. Who is the Masked Mage? In the past, Wendell was overseen by two priests, one of light and one of dark, two halves of the same whole. The priest of light was Charlotte's grandfather, and Belgar, the priest of dark, was my father. One time, my father came across a deathly ill child so sick that they couldn't be saved by the power of light. Instead, he turned to the forbidden reviving arts for an answer. He became obsessed with cheating death. With his new dark powers, he tried to save the girl. But it was too late. But. My father's obsession with the forbidden dark magic was rejected by the Temple of Light. He was thrown out for his crimes. To make matters worse, my father's face was horribly scarred by his newfound powers. He began to wear a mask to cover his head. But such a mask could do little to hide the evil growing within him. With Wendell against him, my father attempted to use his own body to test out his new reviving skills. He became... immortal. A dark lich. Unstoppable now that he has the Benevodon's power. Practically a god. I tried to make my father see reason. He was once a good, honest man. But his heart is only darkness now. Even I fell to its corruption. I am just a reanimated corpse. You helped me recover my corrupted soul from the dark depths into which I had sunk. But even though the battle brought me back to my senses for now, it is only a matter of time before I fall again. This is my last chance. I will end it. But you must hurry to the sanctuary. You must save the goddess and defeat my father. I know you can do this. You can protect the world from evil. Heath! What are you doing? Everyone, may mana be with you. No!
of them. Don't get too comfortable, though. Weak 
enemies. a shame. The tree has withered completely, and the goddess of mana is no more. Becoming weaker by the minute without the tree of mana to sustain you. Understandable, as fairies are born of the tree in order to protect it. Of course, you would perish without a purpose. Fear not, I will soon make you all my undead servants, bound to serve and protect me in this new age. <laughs> no! I won't let you! No! Fairy! Oh! -ho! I see you would prefer death to servitude. <laughs> what fools! You are throwing away the opportunity to serve an invincible god! No matter. I have no need of servants, for I am all-powerful. Oh, do you even know how long I have awaited this day? My loathing for humanity has been hidden beneath this mask. I've been concealing my true essence inside this mortal shell. But now my time has come. I will unleash this poison anger and condemn humanity to utter destruction. Do you wish to see my true form underneath this disguise? One of the mana sword is here. Without mana, elementals and spirits may disappear from the realm. But you should not lose hope. You will be creating a new world for everyone. Come, 
You must stand up and fight! The future is in your hands! Whether you can see us or not, we'll be with you always. So keep fighting! You can't lose! Thank you. 
for never giving in to despair. But the tree of mana is dead, and mana has disappeared from the world. I can't exist without mana. We didn't know each other for long, but I treasured our time together. I won't forget any of you. Mary, don't go. Please, don't worry about me. You were fighting for everyone's future, including mine. Thanks to your triumph, I will now be reborn as the new goddess of mana. Like the seeds of the mana tree. Once they find a worthy person, someone with a pure heart that they trust completely, that fairy can become the new tree and goddess of the mana in the world. To bring that mana, the mana we have lost, back into this realm. I must take the tree's place and sleep here in the sanctuary. It may yet take thousand years for me to restore all of the mana. But if in a thousand years your descendants still remember the Tree of Mana, I will awaken. <laughs> I'm sure I can help them in their hour of need as well. But until I am needed in the future, I will remain here, asleep, quietly protecting the world as this tree this? This is where we part. My brave heroes, farewell. May the Sword of Mana, the one that lives in all your hearts, shine on. Forever. We should go back too! Jessica, and Hawkeye. I fear I have been trapped in a nightmare for far too long. I was informed about what happened to Eagle. That is why I intend to honor his memory by bringing his beloved Thief Guild back to its former glory. Now that mana as we have known it no longer exists in this world, the water in this desert will soon dry up. Therefore, our next target is clear. We must steal water and greenery from nature itself. 
this desert was once a lush and fertile land. We must find a way to bring back the rain and make it hospitable once again. We cannot let the people here suffer. Not on our watch. Skipping Jose's lessons again? My dear, you shouldn't antagonize your loyal subjects. Remember, you will be Queen of Altena someday. I know that it's hard, especially if magic doesn't come easily for you, but you can take all the time you need to learn it. I pray to the Goddess of Mana every day, asking for her blessings so that you may learn magic faster. Mother. Oh, Mother. What's wrong, Angela? There's no need for you to cry. Oh, but please introduce me to your friends. I... I cannot believe something so horrible has happened. I don't remember any of it. How could a queen allow such madness? Even if I was being controlled, the idea that I would try to sacrifice my own daughter is terrifying. I am thoroughly ashamed. Please forgive me, Angela. No, I... It's okay, Mother. You're still the true queen, and your people love you. I love you. Please, continue to rule over Altena fairly, as you always have. Thank you, Angela. your anger cloud your judgment. Take stock of your situation before you act. Uh, uh -huh. You still believe that you killed Carl? See for yourself. Illusions merely made Carl's body seem lifeless. Then you failed to think clearly and assumed the worst. I saved him myself from the shallow grave you dug. King, I, I was wrong about you. <sighs> it served my purpose. You have always been quick to give in to weakness. I needed you stronger, physically and mentally. You mistakenly thought your mother left you when she actually passed away from illness. I never told you so that your anger would turn toward me. 
What? I sought to use your anger to bring out your power. But that is not true strength. True strength is being able to overcome your anguish. I care not for revenge or the mana sword. I created Ferolia because I could not tolerate the pitiful state beastmen were in. Humans were relentless in their oppression of our people. I could not sit idly by. I tried to give the kingdom a shared goal by suggesting an invasion. My people were no longer bound by their fear of humans. It is my creed to reject all weakness. What matters in life is strength of will and body. You have finally begun your journey towards strength and self-reliance, Kevin. Always fight for what you believe in. I will. My friends and I will keep fighting for this world. Even without mana. For the sake of the future. I will surpass you. I will! <laughs> I am not yet old and feeble enough to lose to you. Go now, Kevin.
And, well, that's the playthrough. Like, um... I feel like I've shown off enough of the game already and just, you know, shown off everything I needed to with the game, like, you know, me doing three playthroughs, Duran, Hawkeye, and then Kevin. And, hey, I just really hope you enjoyed this playthrough, and, uh, this isn't gonna- I'm not gonna be done with the game. I I'm not done with the game. Because... Well, I'll, I'll just show you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I still have three more playthroughs planned of this game, so... Later on... I'm going to be doing this, but right now, I'm just going to, like, you know, give it a break, do my, other, do my other Let's Plays. So, hey, I'll eventually come back to this game and, uh, do, and do these challenges right here, but, yeah, that, that's going to be for, like, a later, a much, much later time. Have a good one.